Okay, the four o'clock time slot is a real killer. <laughs> so I figured um, what I would do is probably start out with some kind of an ag joke. <laughs> and basically, it's you really have to listen. I bet you, you guys, of all, all you fine gentlemen and gentlewomen have heard the story about the three eggs. Tisk, too bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, what I'd like to do, I'd like to thank everybody for being here today because your time is valuable, and uh, to be here to attend. It's a pleasure to address you. Uh, I'm just located in our Edmonton office here. Uh, a, l a couple of things we'd like to talk about today. I pr I've prepared this presentation basically in the vein that if you were coming in to see me and you were a nanotechnology operator, uh, sort of some of the things we talk about in an office interview. In hindsight, uh, I could have uh, talked about all the presentations ahead of, ahead of me. Uh, we fund Avrio Ventures and Venture Capital. We've done pre P processing facilities across Western Canada. We've funded land that's dedicated for fiber production for Alpac in the Lac La Biche boil area. Uh, we fund uh, traceability and software companies that are involved in agriculture. I could have structured a presentation, not even bothered, but I'll go with the one that I've prepared. Um, Farm Credit Canada is probably the second or the third largest federal crown corporation that's virtually unknown in urban Canada. Uh, in 2008, press right, left. Sorry, okay. this one and that one. Back, oh. forward and back. Okay. Um, We've been, uh, in 2009, we celebrated our 50th anniversary. Uh, we are basically a repayment and character lender. We will lend you as much money as you can pay back. Uh, we are non-discriminatory. We expect loans to both profits and non-profits to be repayable. We are, we are a federal crown that's sustaining. We carry a portfolio of over $19 billion across Canada. It's grown every year for 16 consecutive years. Uh, we have non-subsidized money. Our basic competitive advantage is threefold. It's our knowledge of agriculture, our long-term commitment to our customers in good times and bad, and our customer service. Uh, we can lend you as little as $5,000, and we can lend you as much as $50 million. That is the house limit. Uh, we partner with other FIs, other financial institutions, both in syndicates, security pooling arrangements. Uh, we, don't, we don't discriminate. This is where I guess my sector fits in. Uh, we look at financing input suppliers, equipment manufacturers, food processors, food distributors, uh, and our primary producers, be they hog, beef, dairy, poultry. <coughs> are one of the links in the value chain. Uh, on this side, you're looking at basically organizations, firms that supply inputs to primary agriculture. And on this side, you look at firms that are supplying, that are processing outputs from primary agriculture. Uh, we also deal with uh, forestry to some degree, as long as they have an agronomic silviculture component to their business operations, i.e. we conceivably could lend to Alpac because it has an FMA, but we couldn't necessarily lend to their logging contractors. Uh, uh, one of the things that does work that is a bit of an issue in terms of our day-to-day -day operations is uh, any applicant to Farm Credit Canada has to be eligible under our Farm Credit Act. Uh, and that's not that. One of the things that we're very proud of is we're more than a lender. Uh, we are community. We want to, we care about the communities where our employees or customers live. We give more than 1% of our profits to charitable and nonprofit. A uh, major focus of our, that funding is through uh, rural areas and our Agri-Spirit Fund. 
One of the real highlights of us is in 2004, we got involved in a drive-away hunger tour. Uh, rural hunger is a major issue in rural Canada. Uh, this, this particular tractor and trailer tour is scheduled for October 2010 in Edmonton, Stony Plain, West Lock and Barhead. Um, since 2004, we have basically donated millions of pounds to the various Canadian food banks. I've given you the nickel tour of Farm Credit Canada. Um, the, we are targeting companies that are basically two to four years in their growth or expansion phase. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're a repayment and character lender. Uh, to remain relevant to our producers and customers, we're constantly monitoring trends. And this is basically some of the stuff that we're looking at for nanotechnology. How do we see it being used in food production processing? Four key focus areas, nano modification of seed and fertilizers, pesticides, <coughs> food fortification modification, interactive smart food, smart packaging and food tracking. There are three P's in nanotechnology, products, processing, and packaging. Uh, the thing to keep in mind with nanotechnology is the big players in this world are active in it. The Nestle's, Kraft, Unilever, H.J. Heinz, Altria. They're devoting big money in this area. Uh, I brought along a couple of examples. Uh, there's a bread company in Australia that's incorporating nanoparticles of tuna fish oil in white bread to improve its omega-3 capabilities. You have an Israeli company that's including nutraceuticals and canola oil. You have researchers in India and Mexico that are really targeting non-toxic nanoscale herbicides. Uh, uh, the, the private sector players have got deep pockets. One of the products that we do provide is we look at working capital. We can pre-approve it. It's money available when you need it. It can be re-advanced. It's got flexible principal payments. It's got a flexibility to lock in an interest rate. And its security is a real property mortgage. Uh, some of the other stuff we do, we're involved in. Uh, capital asset acquisition, land, buildings, equipment. I think this is a cheese plant, if memory serves me right. That's, our, that's the division I work in, FCC Agribusiness and Agri-Food. Uh, primary producers represent about 80% of our portfolio base, value added, agri-food, agribusiness, about 20%. Uh, we are committed to increasing our business market share in agri-food and agribusiness. Uh, we have a dedicated team here in Alberta. Uh, it, in fact, if any of you have noticed outside on one table, there's a bunch of blue folders that talk about some of the projects we do. It also has a list of the contacts within this area. Uh, 